Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for staying with us here at the Global Biodiversity Festival 2021. And now we have a speaker all the way from Madagascar. I'm very, very interested to listen to his talk because he's going to talk about saving our cousins. Our cousins, meaning our non-human primates, from the brink of extinction. Please welcome Jonah Radzimbazafi. Hi, Jonah. How are you? Hi. How are you doing, Peter? Hi. Hello. I'm doing great. Okay. Thank you. It's lovely to see you. How are things lovely in Madagascar? Lovely to see you. Yes, I'm here in Madagascar. And uh, if you are, if it's in the morning where you are, like in Madagascar, it's morning now. Good morning. If it is afternoon, good afternoon. And it's evening to where you are now. Good afternoon. And if it's night, good night. So it's a great pleasure and a great joy and a great opportunity for me once again to talk about our cousin, the non-human primates, to you today. Um, it's a great joy. I mean, because if I say let's, let's means I need you. It's not just me. I need you to work together to save our non-human primates. And um, the thing is why we have to save our non-human primates from the brick of extinction, because it is important to know, to know, next slide please, to know that non-human primates they are the most threatened mammals in the world. They are the most threatened mammals in the world because their habitat are disappearing. And they are very important to us because they are closely related to us human. And they play very crucial role in the ecosystem in biodiversity, for example, as seed dispersers, as agent pollinator, and um, they need our help because we are their voice. We are the voice of those who are no voice. They can defend themselves. So they need us. They need you. They need me today before it is too late. Next slide, please. <clears throat> And do you know that <clears throat> we don't know yet? We have only this planet, but looks like we are living on this planet as if there were, if we have another planet to go. There is no another planet to go. This is our planet, but what's happened to our planet? We all know we are destroying our planet and we cannot let that happen. We have to do something. You have to stop destroying our planet and saving our cousin. Next slide, please. And let's say just if the extinction rate is just 0.01% per every year, you know what? How much species may you lose? at least 10,000 species. And if you just look at how, what happened to our cousin, the gorilla, it's a sad. They are dying. I'm not talking about the disease yet, like Ebola in some sites in Africa. There are, sp there are some mo almost 80% of the gorilla population died because of Ebola. And we don't want that to happen again to save our cousin. When I say non-human primates, that include chimpanzees, orangutan, gorilla, macaque, uh, prosimians, and like lemurs. And uh, if just like a country in Madagascar, 28,000 lemurs are kept illegally from, uh, from uh, in, uh, for people who has no authorization. And if that continue, 
we are going to have an empty forest. Next slide, please. <clears throat> and this is what's happened. Bushmeat in Africa, in Asia, in Madagascar. Even the law said it's strictly forbidden to hunt lemurs, to keep them as pets. They are still pets. And lemurs, non-human primates, our cousin, are facing a tremendous problem. And if you lose them, what's going to happen? What will happen to us? Of course, the non-human primates in many countries, in South America, in Asia, in Africa, in Madagascar, they bring us, they improve our life, they improve our livelihood by bringing, attracting tourists, and thus all gone, you lose money, it does continue. Next slide, please. The problem is deforestation, fire, mining, all of these contribute to make them threatened. In Madagascar, for instance, we have less than 10% of the original forest left. If the current of the if the speed of the current deforestation continue, there is no forest left in this country. And that's in Africa, in Asia, how much forest we lose every year. And we won't that happen again. We have to stop that. And who can do that? Me, you, all of us. Again, before it is too late. Next slide, please. Another problem related to the extinction of non-human primates, our cousin, corruption, bad governance, and poverty. If people are starving to death, natural resources, the forest is always the easiest resource to go to cut down the trees. And we have a saying in Madagascar, starving stomach has no ears. So, numerous non-human primates instead of going extinct, they could help us in raising money, in improving our livelihood. And that is possible. There are many threats that are facing today Next slide, please. But our behavior is exactly like this man beating the dog. People don't say, oh, I don't hunt. I don't have lemur pets. I don't have monkey pets. But if you turn your back on those who do not have the strength to defend themselves, and animals, remember, and animals cannot defend itself, but you can do something for them, but through your ignorance and your silence, these animals will die. Next slide, please. So if you look at the problem related to the conservation of the non-human primates, it's huge, it's big, and we are small, but you can do it. Trust yourself, never give up. You have to do it. Next slide, please. It is a challenge, but you are up to the challenge. You have to move forward. You have to work together. That's what you can do. Now it's not time to waste your time. You have to move forward. We want to find the lemurs. You have to find the gorilla. We have to find the chimps, the orangutans, the macaque for our next generation by working together, by fighting, because it's a common fight. Remember, it's a common fight. You don't want to lose them from our habitat, from our home. We have to save them. You have to work together. If it's like a taxi, Bruce, you have to push it to work again, to start again. Next slide, please. And here, I just want to show you the mega diversity top countries for primates. Brazil is the first, Madagascar is the second, Indonesia, Republic Democratic of Congo, 
and so on and so forth. But Madagascar is only 7% of the size of Brazil. But in terms of endemicity, Madagascar ranked the first. Unfortunately, as I said, we have few forests left. 90, 95% of our lemurs are on the brink of extinction right now, but we want them to, to, to disappear. And that's why I'm here. That's why you have to work together. That's why I give this presentation so the old can hear me. The old can hear us. We can strengthen our, uh, our strength and here, let me tell you, thanks to Houston Zoo, who helped us to save our lemurs in their natural habitat and the other organization. Next slide, please. And to say the lemurs, to say in Madagascar, I teach at the university. I teach primatology where they are so important. I teach at the different opportunity, at any opportunity I can do. I talk about lemurs to speak about their importance, to bring people together to learn because if I don't know, they cannot say them. If you don't love them, they cannot say them. And that's why I am everywhere. We are everywhere. You should be everywhere. Next slide, please. And uh, we managed two protected area in Madagascar, Marmiza on the left and Manum on the right. Those are in the rainforest, but they are threatened to extend. But during the last four years, there's there are zero pressure in Marmiza because we work with the local community. The local community are involved to save the lemurs, to work together with us because that's the only way. If, human is, if, if humans is part of the problem, they must be part of the solution. They must be part of the solution. So we find a good result. So if it works in Madagascar, why not in another site? And that's what you have to do. That's what you have to build the ring before it's too late. Next slide, please. It is simple. You should not follow when you can lead. Go to lead wherever you are, at your work, in your committee, in your country, wherever, to the world. Go and move. Don't fall. Just, you cannot follow when you can lead. Just lead and show them that you are good leaders, you can bring people. They can hear, they can listen, they can learn. Next spread, please. And one of the activities that we are currently doing since starting on October on 9, 2014, we have what you call the Old Lemur Festival, during which everywhere where their country, where their lemurs, we celebrate the Old Lemur Festival. And the objectives are, next spread, please. The objectives are to raise awareness about the value of this unique heritage among scientists and the public, and to awaken love and pride of endemic lemur species among people of any age, gender, or social status, to improve the economy through tourism and its benefits, and to promote lemur conservation education. And that is why the objective of the Old Lemurs Festival. Next slide, please. Locally, we bring small children, kids, to visit Lemurs Park, for example, so they can see very close the lemurs. And I believe that those children, when they grow, they become a good scientist, a good protector of the lemurs. So they are the advocate, the young future advocate spoker of those animals, of those lemurs, of those chimps, of those non-human primates. Uh, the, or was our cousin. Next slide, please. And of course, as I said, ecotourism. Ecotourism can be developed, and ecotourism doesn't doesn't hurt anyone. They can come to enjoy as a recreation place to watch lemurs very close. Even the 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 head of the, the country, like uh, Merkel, they love lemurs. And that's what you want to develop everywhere. So people can see, and this is a good example of the benefits of ecotourism. Next slide, please. 
Like, for example, next slide, please. Like Costa Rica. Do you know Costa Rica is not a big country in Central America? Uh, of America. They, ca they can get 1.9 billion just from uh, tourism. That's lots of money for a small country like Costa Rica. So that means that the country can get direct benefits through developing ecotourism. And that's what you want to spread all over the world to save our cuisine. So you can visit the zoo, you can visit the park in their natural habitat, and thus you help the local community to improve in their livelihood. Next slide, please. And that is what my job right now. I am very pleased to share that I am just elected as the first African president of the International Primatological Society, which will be a tough work because uh, I have to convince people how important are primates. We have to work together with the local authority, with the local community, and with you, with everyone. And that is my job as the president of the International Primatology to talk once again to save our cousins from the brink of extinction. Next slide, please. So, this is a choice. On the left, it's dry. On the right, it's green. Our planet tomorrow is in your hand. It's our, what are you doing, what are you do today? It's our choice. There's only two choices, either on the right or in on the left. On the right, green, on the left, death. I believe and I trust that you join me to go to the right. So our children, our generation can still see our cousin and we should be proud of being part of saving our cousin from the brink of extinction. Last slide. And thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jonah. That was a really lovely and insightful presentation. Thank you, Peter. Uh, yes, just a few questions for you, actually. Um, I, I noticed on your slides that you uh, you bring youth to see the lemurs. Uh, how do you find their, their reactions? Do they get very excited? You know, have, have they uh, said that they would want to do projects to help the lemurs going forward? Yes, uh, they do. And uh, for the lemurs and on the lemur side, you can see when they are um, when they are used to see the the tourists, they can come. They they are fine. Isaac, you can see for the little children watching very close. But we also need to be careful for those lemurs because the the zoonos the 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 disease. We don't want to transmit disease from from the human to 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 the lemurs to primates because you know there are more than thirty kinds of disease between non-human primates and human primates. And for the organization, like, um, uh, uh, like as I said, like Houston Zoo, like ReWorld, like Conservation International, there are many organizations really happy and pleased already to help us to save our lemurs. And um, uh, we hope that uh, that that's can be possible in everywhere, uh, in Africa, in Asia, in South America. And uh, thanks to you, for this opportunity again, I should tell you that from the beginning, because this is really a worldwide uh, presentation and uh, people really aware. Uh, and uh, I wish that this not only the, um, it will continue in a small scale and that's what we'd like to do after this presentation again. Thank you. Thank you so much again for your time, Jonah. Thank you very much for joining us and stay safe. My pleasure.
Thank you very much. You have a nice day and a wonderful uh, event for this uh, global uh, biodiversity festival. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for my friend staying up late in that, in that night to listen to us, to listen to me. I appreciate my friends. Love you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Jonah. Thank you.